Lizzie Borden had a nap, gave her mother forty whacks when she saw she had done. She gave her father forty This is the story of the John Morris murderer. The last time Mrs. Borden was last seen alive was around 9 a.m. by her stepdaughter, the infamous Lizzie Borden, and the maid Bridget. At the time of Mrs. Borden's death, Lizzie's sister, Emma, was out of town, and Mr. Borden was with Uncle John in Fall River. Lizzie said she was downstairs ironing handkerchiefs. <coughs> Excuse me. Mrs. Borden was killed in the room where her Uncle John had slept the previous night, and this is now one of the most requested rooms for overnight stays in the historic Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House and Museum, the John Moore's Room, aka the Murder Room. There was no signs of struggle and she had no defensive wounds killer, isn't it? The evidence is unclear whether she was facing her attacker and didn't fight back or couldn't, or standing up or kneeling. We do know where the wounds were. One blow struck her above her ear on the left side of her head. Another blow between her shoulder blades was four inches deep. The remaining 17 blows were in the back of her head and neck for a total of 19. She was eventually found face down in a pool of her own coagulated blood. Between the blood and the stomach contents of both victims, we can put her time of death around 9.30 a.m., a full hour and a half before Mr. Borden's murder. In the photo on the wall in the dining room where the autopsy was done, you can see she is laying flat on her stomach and you can see the pool of blood around her head. In the mirror, you can see the camera that took the photo. Now, did you know that the Borden crime scene photos were the first crime scene photos taken in the United States? How is that for a morbid fact?